Hello, AI Sciences lover, and welcome to this AI Sciences machine learning course. After the basics of regression, it's time to learn about the basics of classification. We're going to start with the most used and easiest to understand classification algorithm, logistic regression. Okay, first of all, what is the classification? We can define classification as grouping things by the features, characteristics, and qualities they share. In other words, if you're about to drop various objects into three buckets, you could, for instance, classify the following geometric shapes based on their similarity. That is what classification actually means. Now, what is logistic regression? Logistic regression is among the most commonly used and best known algorithms that we can use to solve a classification problem. It's named logistic regression because of the logit function, which is used in this method of classification. Other than that, logistic regression is pretty much the same as linear regression. The purpose of logistic regression is to detect a relationship between features and find the probability of a particular outcome. In a way, it extends the idea of linear regression to a situation where the outcome variable is categorical. For example, let's try to predict whether a student will pass or fail an exam. The number of hours spent studying is given as a feature, and the response variable has two values, passed and failed. Okay, in the equation below, you can see that we need to predict the y variable, which can take two values, 0 or 1, 0 for failed and 1 for passed. It turns out that it is virtually impossible possible to predict y with the following model. y equals b0 plus b1x1 plus dot 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 bkxk. That's because y is a categorical value and b0 plus b1x1 plus dot 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 bkxk will give a continual value as the result. Therefore, instead of predicting this categorical variable, we're going to predict the probability of the realization of y equals 1. p equals probability of y equals 1. In order to do that, we need a link function. The logit link function. Okay, a link function is basically a function of the mean of the response variable y that we use as the response instead of y itself. It means that when y is categorical, we use the logit of y as the response in our regression equation instead of just y. The logit function is the natural log of the odds that y equals one of the categories. For mathematical simplicity, we're going to assume y has only two categories and code them as 0 and 1. p is the probability that y equals 1. So, for instance, those x's could be specific hours spent studying, number of completed exercises, and the score in the first exams, while p would be the probability that a student would pass an exam as in our first example. Linear regression versus logistic regression. Instead of linear regression, the line between y and x, the relationship between x and the probability p, is a logistic distribution. How to estimate the logistic regression coefficients. At this point, we don't know the coefficients. b0, b1, bk of the model. So we must estimate them in order to make predictions. Unlike the linear regression model, logistic regression uses ordinary least square for parameter estimation. The estimation is done by using maximum likelihood due to its more general nature and statistical features. There can be an infinite set of regression coefficients. The maximum of the log likelihood estimate is that set of regression coefficients for which the probability of getting the data we have observed is maximum. In other terms, we must make estimates for the coefficients that predictions are as close as possible to the originally observed value. So, how to make a prediction? Well, the prediction is made using the original logistic function and the estimated coefficients from the maximum likelihood function with the observed data to compute the estimated probability of p. If the probability of p is below 0.50, the predicted value of y is 0. Otherwise, 
it will be 1. In our example, the student will fail based on the value of x. In the figure, we make a prediction by using a different set of x variables. The first set gives us a red point with p equals 0 0.29. In the first case, the value of y is equal to 0, as the predicted value of p is less than 0 0.50. In the second case, the green point p equals 0 0.90. The predicted value of y will be 1. Compared to other models, logistic regression is rather simple and efficient. However, it can't handle a large number of categorical variables successfully. That's it. Now you know exactly what logistic regression is and how it works. In our next tutorial, you'll learn how to apply it in Python and R. Click on the video above to see this tutorial. Thanks for your time, and hey, if you like our videos, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Oh, and click on the notification button so you can receive notifications for our next course. Enjoy machine learning.